Hey Matrix, welcome to the next video in the chemistry uh, playlist. Today we're going over question 4 of the November 2020 chemistry pass paper. If you don't have the paper then please pause the video now. You'll find a link in the description below where you can download the paper as well as the memo. And once you have it then we can continue with the question. Okay, let's get started with question 4. So question 4 we can see we have a flow diagram happening over here. Okay, so we're starting at compound P. Uh, we have reaction 1 happening to form compound Q plus C5H12. Then we move up, we've got uh, bromination. Coming down, we have hydrohalogenation and then um, hydrolysis. Okay, so let's have a look. 4.1 says write down the meaning of the term hydrohalogenation. Okay, so let's break up the word. So hydro means hydrogen, okay. Halogen, okay. There's in the name, so we have a halogen, so that's normally represented by an X, okay? And then this suffix indicates we're adding or forming, okay? So the Asian, that's what that represents over there, okay? So, okay, so what's happening? We're adding, okay? So we're adding a hydrogen and a halide, okay? Um... Oh, sorry, not a halide, a halogen. Okay. So 4.2 then asks us, write down the structural formula of Q. Okay, so we want to know what is Q okay, after reaction one's taken place. So the clue here is look down here after the halogenation's taken place. Okay, so we've got that compound. So that's where we, what we're going to be using to find Q. Okay, so note that we said halogenation, hydrohalogenation, sorry, is an addition reaction, so we break double bonds in order to form um, single bonds, uh, carbon chains, with a halogen attached. Okay, so we can see the halogen that was attached was um, Cl, plus we attached a hydrogen through hydrohalogenation. Okay, so this is what we have, now we need to get Q. So I'm going to remove this chlorine, okay, and I'm going to remove a hydrogen, which means I form a double bond here. Okay, so if you count this way, your double bond will be on this side. If you count this way, your double bond will be on that side. So my Q is going to look something like this. Okay, so I've added the double bond between the carbon because I've removed the hydrogen and a chlorine. Okay. And that's my structural formula for Q. Okay, now let's have a look at uh, 4.3. So it says reaction one is an elimination reaction. So they've indicated we're eliminating something. Okay, so uh, we've either taken something out or something like that. So we can see we have compound Q plus another compound. Okay, so we've split something up here, otherwise known as elimination. Okay, so we've got a carbon with uh, five carbon, or we've got a carbon chain, sorry, with five carbons and 12 hydrogens. Okay, now Q we saw had three um, carbons with a double bond in it. Okay, so this double bond should be ringing some bells. When we break up long chains, okay, it's called cracking. So that's what's taking place here. We've taken a long chain and we've broken it up into two smaller segments, okay. One of them will have a double bond in it to account for the splitting, okay, because we don't have another hydrogen. We're not adding in a hydrogen uh, in order to fill the gap or anything like that. So one will have a double bond between uh, the carbons. Okay, so this process is known as cracking. Okay, so it's normally used to split long carbon chains, so oil that comes out of the ground or th that they've extracted, we then use cracking on that in order to produce fuel, such as um, petrol or diesel. Okay, now 4.3.1, uh, okay, it says write down the elimination reaction, we've done that. 4.3.2 says the molecular formula of compound P. Okay, so I've written here molecular formula, uh, you should be thinking of atoms, so which atoms are involved, and the amount of each atom. Okay, so that's quite simple. 
from Q we have three carbons and six hydrogens and then from the compound uh, next to it we have five carbons and 12 hydrogens. So just adding everything together we're going to get eight carbons. Um, so six plus 12 is then going to give you 18 hydrogens. Okay. 4.4 says write down the IUPAC name of compound R. Okay, so compound R is formed through bromination. Okay, so as I've indicated here, bromination is just halogenation. So once again, it's an addition reaction. So we need to break this double bond of Q and we're adding in halogens. Now remember, halogens are always added uh, in twos. Okay, so we're adding bromine, which is our halogen here. So breaking this double bond, I'm going to end up with the following. So three carbons still, okay, two hydrogens there, one there, three hydrogens here, and now to the second carbon and the third carbon I've added, or the first carbon I've added, Br. Okay, so now the IUPAC name, remember we sort out the halogens first, so it's going to be one comma two, okay, because there's two, it's di bromo okay then there's three carbons so three is going to be um prop uh just double check here yep prop and then it's all single bonds so it's propane okay and that's my iupac name now 4.5 says from the hydrolysis reaction write down okay 4.5.1, the balanced equation using the structural formulas. Okay, now remember, hyd hydrolysis um, takes place when we're going from a haloalkane to an alcohol. Okay, so the reverse reaction of this would be going from an alcohol, an alcohol to a haloalkane. So that would be, again, a hydrohalogenation process. Okay, so now we're reversing the hydrohalogenation process. And we're using a strong acid or a strong base okay, to do this. So we can see we're going from this compound of here. So I'm going to draw that out. So C, 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 L. Okay, so now you can choose whichever um, strong acid or strong base you want to use. But remember, it needs to have we need to substitute in an OH because we need to form an alcohol. Okay, so you can use NaOH or you can use water. Okay, so I'm going to use water. It's normally the easiest one to use. And when you reverse the reaction, you end up normally getting your um, haloalkane plus water. Okay, so adding water to that, I am now going to get, so the Cl... Um, is going to come out, it's going to attach to one of the hydrogens, and the OH from the water is now going to take its place. So we're going to have one, two, three. We'll have our alcohol forming here. Okay, note that it's a secondary alcohol because it's attached to the middle carbon. Okay, and then what are we going to have left? Well, we've taken out the Cl plus there's an H there, so we'll have HCl remaining. Okay. Now, the last question says, two reaction conditions for the hydrolysis. Okay, so hydrolysis normally needs heat in order to break up um, intermolecular forces. Uh, so the first one is going to be heat. Okay, it normally helps with reactions, adding heat to it. And then the second one, because we're dealing with strong acids or strong bases, we need to dilute them. Okay, we dilute, uh, can't spell today, so we dilute the acid or the base using water. Okay, so the water that's formed over here could be not necessarily from the dilution, but remember we're diluting something to make it weaker. Okay, um, so it's not necessarily linked to the H2 over here, I've just used H2O in order to split uh the chlorine from the molecule in order to form my um, alcohol at the end. Okay, and that's how we do this question. Okay, if you found today's video helpful, then please leave a thumbs up on the, the video. 
Uh, if you have any comments or questions regarding this question, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Uh, please consider subscribing to the channel. It does help a lot. Uh, it also gives you notifications when new videos come out. Um, there are other video topics on this channel, Maths Paper 2 and Maths Paper 1, as well as Physics. Thank you for watching.